Hello everybody, this is Matamata here once again with more Terra Firmacraft. I've recorded a lot of this today, a lot more than I probably should have, but whatever, that's not the topic of this. The topic of this is, as you saw in my inventory two seconds ago, there is something a bit new in it, something a bit fresh, something that wasn't there last time when you saw this. There's also a door here and the torch went out. Oh yeah, torches can go out now. Ew. Well anyway, nine stacks of native copper. Nine stacks. It is poor, of course. It's freaking poor. Now, that deposit that I found last time, I didn't ever really uncover anything else in it. However, though, I did go all the way over here and actually find another deposit, like 400 miles away. Some remnants from it. it. starts over here. Now, there are so many wood blocks up on the surface. What? What even just happened? You can relight the uh, burnt out torches by just clicking on them with another torch in your hand. So there's a ton of wood planks here because they don't have gravity and I had a lot of cave-ins during when I was making this. So let's just go down here and take a, take a look. Oh yeah, finally ladders because I have a crafting table. So this is it. This is as much of it as I got. I, I can't really mine any of the ceiling area because there's gravel under it and I don't think support beams can support gravel. But, yeah, there, I still am not even nearly finished with mining this out. I really wish the ceiling, I could mine it out, because there's probably at least 20 blocks of it up there. But these are support beams. These have changed since the last update. I can't really mine them to show you, because there's already cobblestone up here that it's supporting. But there's only one support beam block now. There's no way to craft the horizontal ones. You can only craft the vertical ones. And you have to put two lines of them like this. When you place it on the ground, it automatically puts three of them up in the air. Now it's expandable, I think like 10 blocks up. or so. I think it's actually expandable infinite amount of blocks up. And you have to put another one at most five blocks away from it and connect them in the middle. Just place them on the ceiling and then it'll connect. So that's pretty cool. It's actually, you know, how support beams actually work in real life now. So... That's pretty cool. I can't wait to smell all this copper into actual ingots because, man, that's going to just be awesome. My One of my main goals with this is to actually start a real pig farm. Oh, yeah, tomatoes. Just some huge coincidence. The main food over here is tomatoes. I have, like, three 160-ounce tomatoes now. It'll last me for a, at least the next couple seasons, just these tomatoes alone. Yeah, a lot of tomatoes. But, yeah, one of my main goals is making a farm. There's a boar and... There's a female pig around here somewhere. You just have to click on them with a bare hand. Right click, I think. What? You can't check anymore? I could have sworn you could check. What? I think with a pig you don't really need to because it has horns. But I think on the... What the... What is that? Do you have to, like, feed it or something? What is that? There's like a... I'm going to have to investigate that. They probably changed the way that you have to breed them and stuff. But yeah, barn. That was something that I got... I was really close to having it last time. I waited until spring just to farm again for wheat, but I never actually made a farm. So over here, there's some problems with the... I'm, I guess I'm just too used to 1.8 rendering everything super amazing because I'll, I'm getting a lot of the glitches everywhere. But... Yeah, I got a wrought iron ingots. This is not going to be, you know, a thing until later in the game, but I got one from a zombie. Which is really like I've only killed like 10 zombies so far. Somehow I got a rare drop from one. Can't really do anything with it yet because I need some of the higher tier, you know, quote unquote technology to actually transform it into a pickaxe. So I should probably start a farm soon or something of that nature. I'm probably going to eat this garlic. But yeah, no bed, just this one little weird thingamajigger. And I need to set up multiple fire pits now to smelt these thingies. And by these thingies, I mean the poor native copper. I also need to do some maths to actually calculate how much poor copper this is. I need to... I, get, I did get some clay. You can make an empty mold just by doing this. I believe that it's something like this. Yes. And it's nice, so it actually gives you two of them. Because, of course, you need a lot of these to make ingots. So I'm going to need to set up a lot of fire pits so that I can get these all fire pitted. I'm going to make 12 of these empty molds, just because why not. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. I probably should have put some blocks above these just in case it starts raining, but I really hope it doesn't. Alrighty, so 
it's actually getting to the point now where I can make a house, which, you know, comforts me a bit. I mean, this, this kind of sort of counts as a ha house. I need to cover this. Can't you put dirt on a ladder and it won't... There's clay right next to my house. Since when is this? Okay, so these are finished now. So I believe these stack. Yes, they do. That would be incredibly annoying if they didn't because I am going to have 12 of them after all. So there's 12 empty ceramic molds and here's 12 empty... 12. I wish it was 12. Four empty ceramic vessels. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this in one of them. Now see... What I want to make now is another tool, and it's it's really helpful. I've been meaning to get it for a really long time now, and it is called the scythe, which I'm going to have to look up the uh, recipe for this because I have absolutely no idea what it is. So let's just look that up, and it looks like it's th th this. It's like that and then you have to whoops not that that just reset it oh man I that's oh look I made a mistake oh let's just reset it that's kind of cheap okay whatever uh, so it looks like that and then yeah, there we go, just because NEI was bugging the crap out of it. So, now I need to put this clay scythe mold in this too. So, let, let me just make sure that there's nothing else that I want as tool-wise. What? It's just stuck on this now. What's going on? Well, I've officially bugged NEI, so that's just great. Actually, that's a chisel. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. A mace is like this. A mace... See, now, the way the mob damage works in this game is that different mobs take more damage from different types of tools. So zombies are affected the most by swords, and skeletons and wither skeletons are affected the most by a... Mace hammer mold, because I'm going to need a hammer soon, so why not just make one right now? You do need a hammer to even use the chisel in the first place, so... All right, that's that's one pit, and here's another one. There we go. Now I need more freaking thatch. I just made the most amazing discovery ever by complete accident. You can get torches from sticks by just right-clicking on another torch. It only gives you one while actually making it, and the fire pit gives you two, but holy crap, that saves a lot of time. If I had a lot of sticks, I would just sit here spamming that. I don't even think the wiki says you can do that. I am the best discoverer in the world. Okay, so, of course, right at, uh, you know, midnight almost, my fire is finished burning now, so I can just take all these molds out of here. Like that. Okay, well, now both the... This is all copper. That's the first time I've ever seen it do that. It didn't, it, 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 it failed. This is outrageous. You can't do this. It just failed on me. If it does it again, I, I'm gonna remove some of the copper and see what happens, but it, it really shouldn't. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. What? I have no idea what just happened. That was kinda weird. Okay, it looks like it actually finished this time. I don't know what was up with that, it just didn't even do anything last time, so let's see here. The copper all went perfectly fine, right? Yes, 960 units of copper. So first of all, I'm going to fill this scythe mold with some copper. So here's that, and I'm going to fill this mold with copper, and I'm going to fill this mold with copper, and I'm going to fill the mold with copper, and I'm going to fill the mold with copper. And then I'm going to put this in a chest because I need to have much room. So this is the one with copper, so is that. This one still has copper in it. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't. Put the knives back in there, because I need some space in my inventory for this. Because this is going to take a lot of space. So I'll show you what all these tools do after I'm finished actually making them. And now that some of this copper is actually starting to cool down, I can take it out of the mold. Sometimes it does break, but it shouldn't really be a problem for this. 
There we go. Oh, no, I forgot. If they're not of equal heats, they can't stack. I should probably put some of these in a chest or something. Now, if I had a barrel, I could cool all of these off if I had water in it. But nope, not gonna one of those. Because those are for lame people that like to conserve time. <laughs> Who's like that? Okie dokie. So now I finally actually got all of these in their little thingy-majigger, so I can take them out. Got all these copper ingots out, and I really wish that I could stack these right now, but I need to actually wait for them to cool off. Some of the... No, none of these are even cooled off. Wow, that's just brilliant. <laughs> oh, wait, none of them are brilliant white anymore. Never mind, that's not a joke. So, now, this is the unveiling of the scythe. Probably the most time-conserving tool in this whole entire game. So you know how I've been struggling to get sticks the whole time? Well, this is what a scythe does. Oh my gosh, it is so helpful. It even works on grass. Look at this. Look at how amazing this is. This scythe, I will go so far as to say it is overpowered. Because even if you had one of these in real life, I'm pretty sure that it couldn't do this. Like, really. I've never seen a scythe do anything like this before. Look at this, 25 sticks, two saplings, it's been like a half a second. This thing is ridiculous. It can get saplings from any tree, except for, you know, the ones that don't drop saplings, like, I believe sequoia trees do not. But yeah, this thing is awesome. It saves you so much time when you're trying to take away a tree without, you know, actually getting saplings from it or just simply getting sticks or anything. I sound like I'm on an infomercial or something trying to sell you something, but I assure you I'm not. So when you're done with the ingots, you can just simply shift click them and they will go onto these things in these neat little stacks just like that. And it looks cool because they stack up on each other so you can admire your richness and all of its awesomeness. My richness in, you know, 12 copper ingots. But yeah, if, it, if there's not enough in it, you can't actually take it out. So I'm just going to leave this in this chest to die and sit there forever. So now the next one is the chisel and the hammer. Oh, man, you can do a lot of stuff with these. Okay. So, the chisel, as you can see, it has this thing in the back. You can actually chisel stone blocks to look better like this, so that they look like that. And you can pick them up, and they don't turn into cobblestone. So that's a good strategy. If you want to go mining, even, and you don't want to get a trap ton of random rocks in your inventory, you can do that. Now, to, sh to shift it to the next one, I can't remember... It's M. Yes, it is M. So you can actually carve stairs out of pretty much... Oh, you can... Oh! Oh, you can carve... Oh, I love that. I've been wait. Can you carve up... Oh, no. You can! Yes, I've been waiting so long for that. You used to not be able to carve corner stairs or uh, upside-down stairs or anything, and you finally can. I waited so long for that. It wasn't in the last version. So you can carve stairs out of them. Out of any block, I believe, and you know, that's actually opaque and full. You can carve slabs, and it, it actually goes in complete eighths, just like stone. Stone, I mean, so no, you can actually carve an entire block, eight by eight, on each face, which is 64. Yeah, you can modify these blocks a lot. Actually, 64 times 64 times 64 is the amount that you can modify this. You can take away any of these little amounts of the blocks in here. Look at this. Okay, well, I was mining in the copper mine again, for, for no apparent reason. I was just getting more copper, and I found this. And I am assuming this is hematite. It is hematite. Okay. This is iron. I really don't need this until very, very much later in the game, but considering that it's in my copper... Ah, oh, it's poor. Ew. Ugh. 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 Ooh, that's bad. Ew. Please tell me there's not any more around. Well, I mean, at least I have a beginning deposit, just in case I, uh... Whoa, 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 Oh. Okay, don't do that. But, um... 
At least I have a beginning deposit now, because I don't exactly want to have to search for hematite in many other areas. But it's occurred to me now that because I'm going to have to start making alloys from the newly acquired copper that I have, I am going to have to go to different areas, too, to get more dirt and... Dirt? What am I talking about? More... Because a lot of these ores that I'm going to need only spawn in certain areas of the world, like under certain stone categories, and I'm going to need to explore. Just like with the copper, how I needed to find this type of stone, I'm going to need to go somewhere else in the world to find the other different type of stone. D d d yeah, they're, I don't really think these support beams are doing very much, to be honest, but they're here anyway. Okay, so after running around for a while, I never found any different types of rock, so I, I, I sort of got bored of running around. So I mined down here, and there are multiple layers of rock, and I found schist. Well, this, this, this rock right here is schist. And it turns out that for the alloy that I need to make, I need bismuth, which I already have on the surface, I just haven't found the deposit yet, uh, copper, which obviously I already have a crap ton of, and zinc. And zinc can generate in this stuff, schist, and it just so happens that that stuff is down here. So I'm going to need to find some of it somewhere, somehow. I haven't exactly worked out most of those uh, adjectives or verbs yet, so I need to probably figure that out. Okay, well, I went mining for a bit here. I went down further. I found graphite. This is the other thing that you need for the fire clay, so basically that means that I found everything that I need for later gameplay, but I haven't found any of it that I need for right now, so that's just perfectly amazing. So I'm going to need to do some even more mining out around this area. I hate this part. I hate this part of the game. I love it once you actually reach the ore deposit, but it just takes so long to mine each stone. Look at this. It takes so long to mine each stone block. So, I mean, I'm pretty much set for the blast furnace. That's the main reason why I didn't continue playing last time, because I just got so bored of trying to search for these ores that you need. And now the only ores that I actually need are the ones at the very beginning. I need sphalerite, and that's pretty much it, actually. I have every other ore that I'll need other than sphalerite. I don't think I'm going to actually legitimately try and search for rock salt this time unless it just pops up in my face because, well, we all know what happened with that last time, unless you don't, in which case I don't think that you should probably find out because it was quite embarrassing. I spent a uh, couple hours, mm, mm, probably a little bit more than a couple hours, walking 22,000 blocks away from my house to eventually find rock salt. He needs to add another way to get salt. Like, it's just ridiculous. You have to find one specific rock type out of, like, the 20 that are in the game. And now I think even the rock types take longer to find than they did before. And because each area is bigger. So, yeah, please add another way to get salt. Because it's just ridiculous. You need it to preserve meat, and it's, it's, it's not good. 2,000 years later. Finally, after an absolute forever of mining. You see that? Uh, you see that? Where is it? Up there. It says, found traces of sphalerite. This is what I've been looking for for the past 59 minutes. Is that one message right there? Found, or er, found traces of sphalerite. Because, oh my gosh, I spent a long time trying to find this piece of crap. Wow, I spent a long time trying to find this piece of crap. And I'm going to break this ladder now, because it would be mighty handy if I was actually able to mine these blocks, now wouldn't it? Yes, if I actually got to where the crap thing is, I'll use a simple, I'll use strategy where you can find a simple direction to see if you're in the right direction. So I'm going to get to a point, there's a simple over here. I have a simple I have no water left. So yes, this direction is looking good. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on mining in this direction. Traces of cinnabar. I don't want any of these things. I, I, there was, you can't cheat me out of sphalerite. You can't do that. I've been searching for an hour. You can't do that. Freaking cavens. Okay, well, anyway... I've been working at this for so... Seriously? 
These cave-ins will just not let me have this. Okay, come on. Nothing of... Is this it? Pl oh my gosh, don't even tell me that I just mined into an ore. Wait, where did it go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? How did I get all the way over there? I have no idea. Okay. I'm really afraid that's tetrahedrite. <sighs> that cave in actually really helped me because I wouldn't have thought to go up at all. That, okay, now all that's left is to find the heart of wherever this is. Here's my gun with. Maybe up. I don't know. I found Sphalerite, though, so that's really good. I'm super far away from my house. I decided to mine somewhere else for now. So, I hope you enjoyed and stuff, and... I... Yeah. I can't even do freaking outro. So, bye.